Hello! In this tutorial I will show you how to make a text looking like it's made of glass or shiny plastic with a pattern inside. This is how it's going to look like. Ok, let's get started. Create a new file, going to File New, 1200 by 800 pixels in horizontal position. I have already created my file, so I'm cancelling this. Now, step by step, we are going to make our text. Take Text tool and drag a rectangle from one corner to another one. Next, go to Tool options and in Color, set your color to red. Just enter the numbers you can see on the screen. For this tutorial I have chosen font which is called Digifit. It comes with GIMP 2.8. If you have older version I'm not sure if it's going to be there. For size choose 150 pixels. Enter minus 30 for line spacing and 20 for letter spacing. Now I'm going to type the text, which is Game World. I'm typing this from capital letter. Uh, actually, I'm typing both words from capital letter. Game World should be on one line, then World should be on another one. Just underneath. Now I want to place this text in the middle of the image. Well, you can do it very precisely or just, you know, just just about in the middle. It doesn't really matter. Next step is quite important, so please don't miss it. Go to Layer, Layer to Image Size. Okay, we've got text. Now we are going to make it to look more appealing and actually glossy. Create a new transparent layer. Select the layer with text. Right click Alpha to selection. Now we are going to increase our selection. To do this you need to go to Select, Grow and enter 12 pixels. Select the top layer, which is empty transparent layer. Set your foreground to black color. Take bucket tool and fill the selection with black. Get rid of the selection now, go to select known. Now move this layer below the layer with red text using the green arrow. Next, take the move tool. Click in the middle of the image to activate it and then using the arrows on the keyboard move this text, black text, a bit down. Now our text is getting some kind of shape, it's becoming thicker. Ok, let's get to the next point. Select the layer with red text, right click, alpha to selection. Next go to Select, Invert. Go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. Here change your color to white, Blur Radius to 5, Offset X and Offset Y should be set to 3. Also make sure that allow resizing is unchecked. Now go to select none. I am zooming in now to show you the effect we achieved with this 
white drop shadow layer as you see it it looks much better now more like round edges I would say select the layer with red text again right click alpha to selection next create a new transparent layer and place it below layer with red text Set your foreground to white, take bucket tool and fill your selection with white. Go to select, select none. Take move tool, click in the middle of the image to activate it and then using the arrows on your keyboard move this white layer few pixels down. This way our letters got some kind of outline. Select the layer with red text again. Right click alpha to selection. Now create a new transparent layer. Make sure it is under our drop shadow layer. Take the brush tool, find the brush called star line. If you don't have this brush, you better check my previous tutorial. If you do have the brush, click on the brush in the bottom right corner. Tab with brushes should be open, so set the spacing to 110. Go back to tool options. Set size to 250. Dynamics should be off. Now I'm going to zoom in to see better what I'm doing. And by the way, now we are going to do one very useful thing, which is going to be very helpful. For this, we need to have rulers to be visible. Go to View, Show Rulers. Now pull a line from the top ruler down to the bottom of the letter G. It will help us to see how to position our brush according to the letters. Snap to Guide also should be activated. It's uh, actually useful as well in this case. Make sure that our selection is still active, then take brush and place the first point at the beginning of the letter G. Holding down shift key on your keyboard, pull the brush across the letter G and click once. Now repeat the process. Make sure that the beginning of the brush is always on the line. In general you don't have to make it this way letter by letter you can just pull it once from the beginning to the end of the word and be done with it but doing it letter by letter you can achieve much better effect it, it looks more neat so I prefer to do it this way now I'm going to speed up the video before you lose your interest in this and then I'm going to slow it down on the next point Ok, we filled our letters with stars, now go to select known to get rid of the selection. It looks quite nice, but we are not finished just yet. Now we are going to add some shine to the letters and then we are going to add some shadow and then background. So let's move on to the next point. Select the layer with red text again, alpha to selection. Next click on the top layer and create a new transparent layer. Take rectangle select tool. 
go to Tool Options, Set Mode to Subtract from Selection or hold down the Control key on your keyboard. Next, make a rectangle from the middle of the word game to the bottom. Zoom in if you need to fine-tune it. Now only the top half of the word game is selected, this is what we needed. Set your foreground to white color. Next take Blend tool and in Tool options set Gradient to foreground to transparent, shape to linear and pull the gradient from the bottom of the selection to the top. Go to Select, None. Now we are going to kind of repeat the process, so select the layer with red text, Alpha to Selection. Now go back to the layer with white gradient, select it. Take Rectangle Select tool, select everything apart from the bottom part of the second word. Zoom in to fine tune the selection. Next, take the Blend tool and pull from the top of the selection to the bottom of the selection. Select None. And now I think we need to reduce the opacity of the layer with the white gradient because it looks a bit too strong. So I think I'm going to set it to about 85, well, 88%. I think this should be OK. Now we are going to create a suitable background for our text. Select Background layer and set your foreground to red color. Your background color should be set to black. Take Blend tool, go to Tool Options, set your gradient foreground to background, shape to B linear. Pull the gradient from the middle of the image to the bottom. Now I'm going to remove the guides because I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to view show guides and uncheck it. Next create a new transparent layer, which should be just above our background layer. Set your foreground to white, or almost white, it doesn't really matter. Take Blend tool, in Tool options set your gradient foreground to transparent, shape to radial. Pull gradient from the middle of the image to the side and set this layer to overlay. Select the layer with black text. Go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. Both offsets should be set to 5, Blur Radius to 12, Color to Black. And make sure that Allow Resizing is unchecked. Click on the layer we just created, which is, should be called Drop Shadow 1, and reduce the opacity. 50% should be OK, but I want to zoom in to make sure that I can see the effect better. Um, looks like 50% is a bit too strong for my taste, so I'm going to reduce it to about 33%, 
but you know it's up to you up to your preferences this is it go to image flatten image thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe